Today we're going to be doing a valve adjustment on a 150cc GY6 Chinese engine. Now, these Chinese engines are very popular and the procedure is the same for any kind of Chinese engine, even the 50cc, it's all the same. Okay, this is a super simple engine. So we're gonna be doing a valve adjustment on this engine that's outside of the bike. So let's begin. What you're gonna need is really simple. You got your socket wrench kit. You need a pretty decent one. You need a full kit. This is the eight millimeter right here that you're going to need. No power tools, okay? Power tools, once you get the engine down to here or you've already got the seat off, no power tools. You're gonna to be using hand tools only. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need, apart from some paper towels, which are very useful because you're gonna get some oil dripping, is this feeler gauge. It's a .004 and .005. Uh, sometimes you can get them like this. You have a bunch of different ones, but as you can see, these are all too big. You can go ahead and try to get one like this. I got this one off Amazon. This one is specifically for GY6 engines. This is what you're gonna need. So we're gonna start with the first step. All right, we're going to take out the spark plug. Now the spark plug is always gonna be on the exhaust side of the engine or the stator side. And this is the same in all GY6 engines. There's just the spark plug hole that goes to the head. This is uh, it's just a spark plug socket. Attach that on. There you go. Real nice and simple and go real gentle with it, you know, of course. Now I keep my spark plugs pretty loose. As an aside, the condition of your spark plug can give you a lot of information about uh, what's going on in the engine. It's a nice caramel color. You know, this is fine. Got a little bit of black uh, soot on the edge. That's because I run mine a little bit rich, okay? Put your spark plug where you can find it. The next step is to take off the valve cover. This is always on the front of the engine. This rectangular looking thing, it's gonna be eight millimeter. That's the standard size. Very important that you go in a star pattern because you have to be gentle with these screws. And then down here. Now these can sometimes get really stiff after a lot of heating and cooling cycles. So don't be afraid to give it a little bit of a push, but make sure you're tight or loosening and not tightening. See, this one's very stiff. And the last one. Basically evenly, you don't need to worry too much about it once they're finger loose. Put your screws somewhere where you can find them. In almost all of these GY6 engines, there's going to be two screw sizes. And the smaller one goes right here. You can see them right here. You're going to have a larger one and they go into the other holes. Otherwise, you could have some issues. Now the cap is loosened, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove it like this. This particular engine has been drained of oil, it's been sitting, so this looks pretty clean. If your engine has been used recently, you'll see some more oil here where I don't. Some of these 150cc engines have a gasket. Make sure you remember that to avoid some you know, leakage. You expose the rockers and the uh, uh, valve. You know, I'm not too sure of the terminology, to be honest. So the next step, obviously, is to find top dead center. The engine needs to be in the right position. On a 50cc, you have a kickstart. This is right here is a transmission. You have a kickstart um, that you can actuate, you could push down, but this one doesn't have it installed. The other way to turn over the engine is to come to the other side. This right here is the stator cover. It's actually a small plastic attachment to the stator fan that you can use to turn the engine. I believe this one is 13 or 14. Yep, it's 13. On the stator side, you wanna tighten it. Gently go ahead and move it. You don't have compression, so it should be fairly easy to turn over. It could be pretty silent in there. When I turn the engine over, the chain is moving around. These things are bouncing up and down. The way the chain works is that there's two little holes and one big hole. The big hole has to be right on the top flush. That's top dead center. And there you go. You kind of feel the engine kind of falling into place. See, that's pretty good. Yep. Now your engine is at top dead center. This is your intake. This is your exhaust. This is your exhaust. You have to see exhaust soot. Let's start with the intake. The intake is 0 0.004. Exhaust is 0 0.005. What you want to do, you're going to want to try to slide it. Sometimes you got to pull up here. This one is actually not so bad. And I can feel some light drag, but it can't be so difficult that you're trying to hammer on it to get it in, you know? But remember exhaust 0 0.005 and go ahead and slide in there. This one is so tight, I can't, can't even get my tool in there. Even 0 0.004 can't fit tight. Eventually you can burn up your valves if you keep running it like that. All right, let's pop this open. And yeah, this is another stiff one. You won't damage it by forcing on a little bit. Just don't use power tools. Little baby square thing is what you turn to adjust. You get your 0 0.005, you get it on in there. Okay, now we can actually fit it. And a little bit more, you know what you want. 
light drag. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Okay, let's tighten this back up. Oh, now you can see as I tightened it back up, it got tight again. Loosen it, loosen that. You have, sometimes you have to play with it. Sometimes it can get finicky. Sometimes you want to tighten the nut and loosen that square at the same time to get the perfect, perfect touch. Tighten it a tiny bit. I'm actually going to tighten it a little bit more. Okay, now when you're tightening, remember, just snug, okay? I could keep going, but I don't want to strip this thing. You can see, this is pretty good, right? Yep. It's perfect measurement here and perfect measurement up here. And you got to put stuff back together. This is where things can get a little bit dicey. Step one, just get a paper towel. It doesn't need to be perfectly clean. Try to wipe the edges here to avoid getting a leak. Oil can leak from if you don't reconnect this properly. Let's try rotating the engine. Looks good. Let's get the cover back on. We have a gasket here. And yeah, a gasket's going to be finicky. Finger tighten first. These screws are normal but the area that they screw into is made to dissipate heat. It's not made to be very strong. Cross-thread it or worse, you strip it, you're gonna get an oil leak. Okay, once you've got everything started, put the eight millimeter back on that, tighten them evenly. Okay, now we're gonna keep going in a star-shaped pattern important stuff that you can remember from this video. Don't over tighten. All you need, just snug. Oh, it's getting snug. Don't push it. Now up here, don't push it. Down here, I'm using a tiny little uh, socket wrench. You don't want to use a long thing. This one's already pretty snug. Don't push it. Okay, that's quite snug. You know, you don't want to push that at all. So you don't need to tighten this down super hard. It's snug. You know, this is where you can strip it easily. You're just like, oh, a little bit more and then boom. So don't do it. Snug, that's very snug. Perfect. Don't keep going. Don't keep doing it. You're going to regret it. Reconnect your spark plug. Same principle applies with your spark plug. Don't want to strip it because it's disastrous. So that right there is the hole that you want to aim inside of. No power tools. You're just going to twist with your fingers. All right, you should be able to hand tighten it. If not, pull it out and try again. You can take this, you know, and that'll help you. Don't over tighten it. Kind of go a little bit. Okay, let's go a little bit more. That's it. Yeah, you could use a torque wrench if you wanted to. I know, that's that's as much as I'm willing to go. Once you've done those steps in your engine, you'll have completed your uh, valve adjustment. Start it and let it idle. If you did it right, you should hear just the engine purring. It should be very easy to start. You're gonna wanna let it idle for like a good 10 minutes in the same spot and then, you know, shut it off. And watch for any oil cooling out of here. If you see any oil coming out, then you know you have an issue with your cover. Once you do that, it heat cycles and track all the metal and make everything tight and nice in there. And there you go. That's how you do it.